Hello everybody, this is Les Webster and today I've decided to show you a, an unboxing of Crash Bandicoot The Insane Trilogy. So after about a year of waiting or so, we finally got uh, our hands on it. Although if you're a Crash fan, let's be honest, you've been waiting a lot longer than that. I do apologize for the um, glare. I'll probably I'll have to try and angle this better so you can uh, get a better look at the front cover. I realize that uh, a lot of people have probably beat me to it and already got the game ahead of schedule, but I did pre-order it and this is uh, the official release date and I decided, eh, what the heck, I may as well make a unboxing video, do something special in honor of the Bandicoot's return. So, at any rate, there's the front cover, there's the side, it's a shame that uh, it's just white around there, too bad, it's, you know, we could have had like this extra, like, green... Um, Jungle-like atmosphere, you know, wrap around there maybe, but all in all, uh, well, there's extra plastic here. I already did an unboxing video, but I accidentally deleted it, so I had to do it over again. But anyway, so there's there's the back. Three full games, hundred levels, two playable characters, platforming, new animations, graphics. So, a little more extra detail, there's Coco running from a boulder, she's fully playable in all three games, as E3 2017 told us anything, crash on the polar bear, and crash on a motorcycle. Curious to see how faithful Activision, or excuse me, uh, Vicarious Visions was with the with the trilogy. I hear, I hear they were pretty faithful, and from what I've seen, it's pretty much all been faithful. I'm actually kind of interested in seeing what new things... Um, they're, uh, they've got in store, so I'm, I, I can tell you what I'm going to be doing this weekend. <laughs> but at any rate, we'll open it up and take a look inside. And it's blank, obviously, so, well, I don't know why it is blank. It could have been, could have had some sort of interesting, neat uh, background there with Crash and doing something. I don't know. It's whatever. And we have the disc on the right, obviously, so... There's Crash. Looking good. So, there it is. Nine years after Mind Over Mutant, we finally finally get a, a new Crash game. Hopefully, this won't be it. We'll have more coming along. It depends on how this sells, obviously, because that's what these games are about, making money. So, go out and buy 15 copies. <laughs> so we can make sure that we get another... Another game out soon. Hopefully a remaster of CTR. I've been playing a lot of CTR lately and it's probably my favorite game of all time, not just favorite crash game. I had to be honest with myself because I because I used to say Warped was always my favorite game, but uh had to be honest with myself. I think CTR is more my speed because I really like kart racers, racing games in general, and Crash is my favorite genre, so put the two together and I'm in heaven, so so CTR, and uh, hopefully that will come in the future. A new Crash game is just as just as good, if you ask me. Um, I'd be interested in buying any new Crash game. They would have to really royally screw up for me not to keep buying Crash games. I mean, I don't know what it is about them. I just really like them, and I'm glad to see that he's back in action. So, anyway, so there's my unboxing. Unfortunately, I had to do it again because I thought my first video was better, but... This will have to do. You would actually got to see me take off the wrapper, so here it was. So, yeah, thank you, thank thank you so much for watching. Let me know in the comment section uh, what your favorite Crash Bandicoot anything is, levels, games, characters. Uh, let me know what you thought about the Insane Trilogy if you've been playing it over the past day or two. I know some people got the copy early, as I said earlier. Earlier. Um, also, make sure you subscribe to the channel if you're really into crash drawings. Uh, I do drawings every day. I'm not going to do one today. I think I would do this special little unboxing video instead of doing a, you know, just in honor of the Insane Trilogy. So, uh, but every other day I, I do drawings. I'm going to eventually move off of Crash Bandicoot once I do all the characters. It's my mission to do all the characters. So, I'm not sure what I'll do after that. Probably like maybe Spyro or. Ratchet and, Clank, Ratchet and Clank, maybe Sly, I don't know, it depends, it depends on what I'm feeling at the time, 
But uh, yeah, make sure you stay tuned for more content like that. And uh, I hope you enjoy my videos. I make this stuff for you guys. I'm not shy of taking the uh, uh, suggestions. I do do them. So don't be bashful. If you like my content, uh, I appreciate it. So thanks for watching and I uh, hope you have a great day. Bye. Oh, and by the way, if you've made it to this, to the end of the video, I also uh, remembered about a week, ago, week or so ago, I bought a Crash Nitro card on Game Boy Advanced. So if you're interested in seeing an unboxing of that, uh, I'm going to do that now. Um, this is now my third copy of Crash Nitro Kart, which is kind of funny because of all the Crash games, Nitro Kart's not really, not one of my favorites, but I do love, it's a kart racer and it has Crash characters in it, so I'm sold. And it's not, it's not that bad. I mean, CTR is leaps and bounds better. To be honest with you, but or at least I think so. Yeah, you, know, you know, you gotta row your own boat. But uh, get it turned around here. But I like CTR better, and I and uh, I heard that the Crash Nitro card on GPA was very different, or at least you know, well, it's different from the console version, definitely. And I wanted to check it out because uh, I'm always interested in a good kart racer. It's one of my favorite genres, and Crash is by far my favorite game. So. Put the two together and I'm in heaven. So but anyway, uh, at any rate, uh, I'm going to open that up now. I was going to do a video of me actually opening up because I bought this brand new. This is a brand new uh, case here I got off of Amazon, but may as well just do it now. So there's there's the game inside its bag. I kept everything. Put that back in there. Let's see what else we have. We have the manual. My Game Boy, oh, there's Spyro. I may as well try, I want to try the Spyro GBA games. I've never played any Spyro games on Game Boy Advance. I hear they're kind of, they have an isomorphic view to them. So that's different and makes sense to me. I mean, that's the way I would do it if I was going to make a Spyro game on GBA. But, uh, yeah, I like Spyro too. I don't like it as much as Crash. There was a time there I probably would have liked it more than Crash, but... Crash is uh, near and dear to my heart, to be honest with you. I don't know what it is about him. I just I just really like him. Anyway, so then there's the safety booklet, like anyone ever actually reads those things. Uh, what do we got here? Something in the mail. Postal thingy. And a poster. So I'm not going to be able to show this thing to you given how I have my camera set up here, but I can try. It's just a poster that says Crash Nitro card on it. So I thought that was kind of neat. I wasn't expecting to get this when I bought the game, but I'm glad I did. And on the reverse side, we have Spyro, Attack of the Rhinox. I think it was the third entry. There's, if you're in, a, if you live in, a, if you don't live in the United States, it's called Spyro Adventure, I believe. Yeah, so I'm not sure where, why they named it that, but Attack of the Rhinox is there. I believe it was the third entry. Season of Ice, I think, was the first, and Season of Flame was the second. I, I've never played them, but I'm kind of interested in, in buying them and see what they're like, but not for a while, though, because I can't... I don't have too much time to play games anymore, unfortunately. And I don't, I don't... I'm not really a huge gamer, to be honest with you. I, I love... Some games very much like Crash and Spyro and Ratchet and Clank and Sly Cooper. But other than that, I, you know, I'm not into any of that, like Call of Duty, uh, Assassin's Creed, or anything like that. I, I like what I like and I stick with it. But, yeah, there's Crash Nitro Kart, my third copy of the game. So, thanks for watching my review of the Insane Trilogy. Thank you for watching my... Um, unboxing of Crash Nitro Kart Game Boy Advance version. Anything you have, anything to say about uh, Crash Bandicoot in general, whether it's your favorite character, your favorite game, reasons why, reasons why not, you know, depending on what you like or didn't like about it. I am all ears. Please let me know, and thank you so much for watching. Bye.